Welcome, this is Zon with Repo Products. Today's video is on how to use Dynamo and Excel to update the parameter in a family or group of families in a Revit project. Here I am in Revit 2018. I have some families in here. They're just some shelves. One is set at 36 inch wide and another is set at 96 inch wide. What if you want to use an Excel file to change the values of the widths and push that information into the Revit project and update these families. This is how it works using Dynamo. Start with heading over to the Manage tab of the ribbon. Go to Dynamo. Click the command to start it. Dynamo will open up. And then we'll open up that script. So here we'll head over to the scripts folder and we will look at that particular script that I wrote. Now the way that this script is set up is that there is a portion that looks at an Excel file. So for the sake of convenience, I can take all of these and select them and create a group. And here we can put a title, say, read data from Excel. And then down here, we have some nodes that we can group as well by right-clicking and giving it a title. And it says, for retrieving type parameter data of families. And then this last grouping over here, which we can kind of shuffle around and move a bit, And we can group as well by selecting them and right-clicking and grouping. We can modify this title as well and call it Push Data into Families. Now, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit and look at them carefully. We'll start with the read data from Excel. The first node basically says, I need for Dynamo to go to a particular location. So if I click browse, I can go to that location that has the Excel file. And in this case, we want the file that says um, reading the data, okay, the shelving values Excel file. So I'll browse to it. And then this file form path node basically translates the path to the actual file. This Excel read from files node basically says, this is the file that I'm reading. This is the tab, first tab, sheet one, in the Excel file that I'm looking at. Then it will find the information and it will give me a list and it will look at the information from row by row, from left to right. And then from there, it'll give us a list and we can use this node, list get item at index, to get a particular set of values um, from this list that's created. Now I also, by the way, have this set to manual because I don't want it to run right now so I can explain everything first. Now that that information is retrieved, we can use that information to push into the family. How do we tell the software what family and what type parameter? Here under retrieving type parameter data, we specify that we want all the elements of a specific category, in this case, furniture. And then from there, we are specifying the family instance and the type. And then from there, getting that specific value of width for that parameter, the type parameter called width. Once we have that data, then we can use this information and push it into a parameter called uh, element set parameter by name, which forces Dynamo to grab these values from the Excel file and push it into the width parameter of the families that it found. This node here basically divides the values that are found in the Excel file by 12 because the files in the Excel, the data that's in the Excel file, uh, even though it's written in inches, it, we assume when you look at the file um, and you look at the numbers, it looks like it's in inches because, you know, we understand that Excel um, dev Dynamo needs to understand this as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and click Run and let it run through the script. 
And when it's finished, you'll see down here the Excel file has been created and it opens up. And here's the Excel file. And so I've got the mark name, uh, the mark, the name, the width, and the height. And so right now the width is all set to 60 inches. And if we go in here and we take a look at our results, we can see that in the read data from Excel, it reads sheet one, it reads all the data. Okay, so for example, 1A6072. If I look at the Excel file, you'll see 1A6072, 2B6072, 2B6072. So it's reading horizontally across the rows. Okay, and then um, we look at that list and we use a list transpose to sort out that information and we're looking at it based upon column data. So now if we look at the Excel file, we're saying look at this column, then look at this column, then this column, then this column, A, B, C, D, and look at that and sort it this way. And the reason we do that is so we can get the values that we need, just the widths here, and we can use this node here saying get number two and all those values and it pulls them out. And that information is then pushed into the family in the width over here. Now back over here on the left hand side for retrieving the parameters as you can see it's looking at the furniture category. It looks at, looks at all the category um, elements and it shows all the furniture and it's pulling that family instance type and then from there it's pulling the specific value for width for each one. And that's it. That's how it's run and if we take a look at the Revit file and we look at the select the object even though it says 36 inches inside the width um, type parameter value you'll see it says 5 feet 60 inches okay. um, and so all the families now have been updated to that width even though uh, initially the values uh, the naming convention is slightly different so this is kind of a, a fast way of using Dynamo to update all the families thank you very much for watching